Section 24 of the Aesop for Children. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Aesop for Children. Fables 93 to 96 by Aesop the serpent and the eagle a serpent had succeeded in surprising an eagle and had wrapped himself around the eagle's neck the eagle could not reach the serpent neither with beak nor claws far into the sky he soared trying to shake off his enemy but the serpent's hold only tightened and slowly the eagle sank back to earth gasping for breath a countryman chanced to see the unequal combat in pity for the noble eagle he rushed up and soon had loosened the coiling serpent and freed the eagle the serpent was furious he had no chance to bite the watchful countryman Instead, he struck at the drinking horn hanging at the countryman's belt and into it let fly the poison of his fangs. The countryman now went on toward home. Becoming thirsty on the way, he filled his horn at a spring and was about to drink. There was a sudden rush of great wings sweeping down the eagle seized the poison horn from out his savior's hands and flew away with it to hide it where it could never be found an act of kindness is well repaid the wolf in sheep's clothing a certain wolf could not get enough to eat because of the watchfulness of the shepherds but one night he found a sheepskin that had been cast aside and forgotten the next day dressed in the skin the wolf strolled into the pasture with the sheep soon a little lamb was following him about and was quickly led away to slaughter that evening the wolf entered the fold with the flock but it happened that the shepherd took a fancy for mutton broth that very evening, and picking up a knife went to the fold. There the first he laid hands on and killed was the wolf. The evildoer often comes to harm through his own deceit. THE BULL AND THE GOAT A bull once escaped from a lion, by entering a cave which the goat herds used to house their flocks in stormy weather and at night it happened that one of the goats had been left behind and the bull had no sooner got inside than this goat lowered his head and made a rush at him butting him with his horns as the lion was still prowling outside the entrance to the cave, the bull had to submit to the insult. Do not think, he said, that I submit to your cowardly treatment because I am afraid of you. When that lion leaves, I'll teach you a lesson you won't forget. It is wicked to take advantage of another's distress the eagle and the beetle a beetle once begged the eagle to spare a hare which had run to her for protection but the eagle pounced upon her prey the sweep of her great wings tumbling the beetle a dozen feet away furious at the disrespect shown her the beetle flew to the eagle's nest and rolled out the eggs not one did she spare the eagle's grief and anger knew no bounds, but who had done the cruel deed she did not know. Next year 
the eagle built her nest far up on a mountain crag but the beetle found it and again destroyed the eggs in despair the eagle now implored great jupiter to let her place her eggs in his lap there none would dare harm them but the beetle buzzed about jupiter's head and made him rise to drive her away and the eggs rolled from his lap now the beetle told the reason for her action and jupiter had to acknowledge the justice of her cause and they say that ever after while the eagle's eggs lie in the nest in spring the beetle still sleeps in the ground for so jupiter commanded even the weakest may find means to avenge a wrong end of section twenty four recorded by susan morin portland maine